Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today, as it's either National Novel Writing Month or it's coming up to National Novel Writing Month, I'm going to be telling you a bit more about my Nano 2018 project. And for this I'm going to be using the Work in Progress book tag, which I currently can't find the creator of and I've like never been able to find the creator of, so I'm going to try again and if I can find that I'll leave a link in the description. Let's begin. <laughs> Question 1 is what is the working title of your book? And currently it's called Heart. I actually started like the prologue and first few chapters of this back in like 2015 and it's called Hearts then, it's still called Heart now and I feel like it's going to always be called that even though it's not a very good name so like I want it to be good but I'm attached to that name now and I just can't think of anything else so <laughs> I'm going to match two questions together for this one because they're basically asking the same thing and it's where did you get the idea for the book from and who or what inspired you to write the book I'm not entirely sure like how all the pieces fell into place but I remember that at the time when I first started writing this a lot of books with good mental health representation like came out and more diverse and I think more own voices books came out but this is spe specifically about mental illness and I think like I hadn't really read anything about physical like illnesses not like full disabilities but more specific specifically about, why can't I say specifically? More specifically about being blind and deaf because they were two topics that I was like very interested in because I didn't really know much about and it's a spectrum so I wanted to know more about that. So there are all these books about mental health representation but nothing about these other the physical illnesses. And I'm not saying that those stories don't exist, I'm just saying that I haven't personally read one or like seen one blow up across like the book internet. So I decided I wanted to write about someone who was blind and how that affects their life. I also wanted to write something about write something about someone who was deaf and that affected their life. So then I kind of wanted to write about what would happen if they got put together and just watching them become friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, jo what genre is your work in progress? Um, it's young adult, like I think everything I write is young adult as I am young adult. And it's also contemporary fiction. I think most of my projects usually are more like contemporary romance, contemporary fantasy, but this is something where it's just going to be contemporary. I don't want it to become a romance novel, basically. So choose the actors for your movie rendition. I think I've answered this question twice now, and I think both times I've said that I really don't care. It would just be an honour to have it made into a movie, even if it's a bad one, but it's a movie. But because this is a book about teenagers, I'd want them to be played by actual teenagers rather than like, you know, on sometimes Disney Channel they have like 20 year old people pretending to be younger. So I want it to be actual teenagers. And I would say as it's a blind and deaf character, a blind and deaf actor. Because that's what they are. <laughs> and they'll be able to bring more like accuracy to the role and more personal experience. But also I live in like a massive bubble so I have no idea who the good actors are right now. Okay, this question is a one sentence synopsis of your book but I'm going to do two because I'm a cheat. Asher and Ren are forced to form a bond after becoming partners in group therapy as a desperate attempt to bring some light into their lives, starting with writing letters to each other. No one expected a third letter. Group therapy thing makes it sound so much like Fault in Our Stars and that's like my biggest fear about this is that people or just disregard the actual story and just think like, oh, it's a Fault in Our Stars thing. But it's not. There's just therapy. That's it. <laughs> are there any other like massive books about therapy that are kind of like the Fault in Our Stars? <laughs> okay. Will your book be self-published or represented by an agency? Publishing is like the biggest dream of mine, but I'm still in a place where I don't think I'm ready for publishing. Like, I don't think my writing is strong enough. I don't have a strong enough personal style. And also I'm very young. I want to live my life and I'm not legally allowed to sign contracts yet because I'm 17. How long did it take you to write the first draft of your, manus of your manuscript? I'm still in the first draft phase but I'm hoping to complete it or at least make a significant amount of progress on it for Nano 2018. But like this, this book took me like two years to write but I did take like six months off to on that. But it takes me a while to write things. What other books would you compare the story to? Um, in terms of like the kind of cute 
friendship thing that's mm, in terms of cute, cute friendships I would go with where is it Eleanor and Park so I know that is kind of a romance but the romance isn't a huge thing and they seem to be more friends throughout the entire thing so I like the friendship part of Eleanor and Park and I also like the whole aesthetic of it as well and also a book that I can compare it to Fault Our Stars because they have similar themes and style but that's about it so that's the questions for this tag in the comments below let me know like do you have a work in progress right now are you doing Nanny 2018 just tell me a little bit more about it because I like hearing so much about other people's writing projects and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye